Hi everyone and welcome to week three of Early Maths and today we're going to be looking at groups with more than and less than in. But before we get started we need to practice our counting from zero all the way up to 20 and to do that today I'm going to use these balls and my paddling pool to see how many balls I can get in the pool in a row and see if I can make it all the way to 20. Okay so here's my collection of balls and there's my paddling pool. So let's see, there's zero in there at the moment. So there's no balls in the pool at the moment. So let's count and see how many I can get in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I got six. So there's zero in. And I just got six. Let's see if I get more than six or less than six. One, two, three. Oh, just two. Is two more than or less than six? Two is less than six. So I didn't get as many in that time. Let's see how many I can throw in this time. Will it be more than two or less than two? I think I can get more. Let's see, count with me. So we've got zero in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, oh, 13, 14, oh, 14, is that more than 6 or less than 6, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's right, it's more than because it's a higher number than six. I just got 14 balls into the paddling pool and I want to beat that, so I want to get more than 14 in. Let's see if I can do it. So there's zero in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, yes, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, yes. I got more than 14 balls in the paddling pool. I got 20 altogether. Today we're going to be looking at more than and less than in two groups. And so I'm going to do a little activity. And as you can see, I've got two 10 frames. There's one, two. I've got two plates, which is where I'm going to put my number cards. I've got number cards to 10 here, turned over. And I've got some objects to count, so you could use anything at all. You could use toys, or if you've got some cotton reels, or whatever it may be, counters. That's great. And for this activity, I'm going to turn two number cards over and put one on each plate. Then I'm going to count out the right number of cotton reels onto my 10 frame. And I'm going to decide which one has more and which one has less. You can help me with this. So the first thing I need to do is choose a card. So I'm going to choose this number. What number is this? Number three, that's right. I'll pop number three here, and then I'm going to get three cotton reels and put them on the 10 frame. One. Two. Three. So there I have three. Let me choose my next number, my other set. Oh, and what number is this? Zero, brilliant, I'll put zero down. How 
how many cotton reels do I need to pick up? That's right, none at all. So I've got three and zero. Which ten frame has the most on? Brilliant, it's three, well done. I'm going to choose two more numbers. So let's see which number I get this time. What number's this? Number two, brilliant. I'll put two here. And I'll count out two cotton reels onto the 10 frame. One, two. Let's pick another number. I wonder if it'll be a higher number or a lower number. Let's see. We've got number, number five, brilliant. So we'll pop that here. I wonder if you know already which one we'll have more on. Will it be two or five? Let's count out five cotton reels together. One, two, three, four, five. Which ten frame has the most cotton reels on? Is it this one with the blue or this one with the red? Which has the most? That's it. It's five. It's the red. 10 frame and which one has the least that's right it's two two is less than five right let's pick two more numbers so we'll go over here let's see what we've got we've got does anyone know this number eight brilliant put number eight here and then we'll pick another number and here let's see what we've got oh <gasps> That's number four. Let's pop number four down. So we've got eight and four. So we'll put eight cotton reels on this 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four over here. One, two, three, before I show you, have a think. Which one do you think will have the most? Eight or four? Which one has more cotton reels? Oh, you can see it's eight because eight is a higher number than four. Four has fewer. Well done. In today's learning, we've used the language of more than and fewer than or more than and less than. I wonder at home if you can talk to your grown-ups about more than and fewer than. Can you get groups of toys and make one collection have more than the other collection? Could you use your teddies and put less teddies on one blankie and more on another? Have fun learning!